Right, well, welcome back to the channel. Today, I've received an order from SF Stainless. Uh, that was a chrome rear light cover, which I just stuck on. That was dead easy. I've also got the, um, the Fugal Binder Kit. Quick release kit for the side panels. Uh, now, the price going up for the first service on Monday, so I thought I'll get these fitted before then and they'll help the technicians do the job a bit quicker and won't be hanging around quite so long for the service here completed so let's crack on if you fold that spanner up you'll see one of the uh, bolts 8mm next one is just here. So one, two, three. Well, I've got this one. If you can see on this camera, there's then as soon as a ten mil. One, two, three. Lift off. Oh, lift the seat. Should work out. To be honest, that's not hard. You know, people say it takes ages to take these off, it doesn't. However, we do need to undo this indicator. It's just a little pushy down bit there on my thumbnail. Push and then pull the section out. Just show you the um the positions for the balls now the fairing is off. That's the nut and bolt that comes through, and really that should be fixed so it doesn't rotate. Actually, when it's, when it's that way, it is solid, so that's okay. So that ten millimeter nut goes off there. Then you've got an eight millimeter there, and eight millimeter there. So ten mil, eight mil, eight mil. And then just pulls off. That's the hole where the front mounting goes. That's the uh, hole where the back mountain goes. And that's the hole where the middle mountain goes. Nice and simple. Right, so we've, we've took the side fairing off. I'm still trying to find instructions for these flugel binders, but I don't think they're any good for this bike. We've got three fixings, we've only got two of the quick releases, and I'm going to clear where that goes, and I'm going to clear what these sketches are for. So I didn't need them to make any extra long leads for the indicators. So I'm thinking on a 2020 model, these are actually a waste of time. And these kits. So I'm a bit disappointed about that. Uh, my fault really, because I should have done a bit of research on it. I should have took these panels off first, seeing how easy it was. Actually, I think... First thing we'll do is um, connect the indicator up, and that's just a simple push fit. Make sure we get the right one. So indicator connected up, front mounting point in. Moving it back, up, and on, which is more awkward than anything else. 
Didn't quite get that. We'll have another go. Make sure it's pushed in and backwards. Probably will be easier if that seat was not, but we're over it now. Make sure you're over the lip. Ah, oh, that's it. Yeah, so just make sure you're over the lip and down. And then normally it would just be, well, the front ball has to go back on. That's easy. Well, the back ones, we'll have a go with the Fugo bands and, and see what happens. So, we'll just take this little one maybe. I don't know which is the best way to put it. Let's have a look. We've got more space this side, so I'm going to put this this side. Put the nut on the other side. It's fiddly with the washer. Down there. Right, quick release. Down there. Washer. Take my word for it, that's on. And the nail's nut. Just screw it on there. That's quite tight. I think you're tight, really. Let's see if I can give you a Idea. A lock. To lock it, you just push that down there, just like a bike wheel, and that's locked. I'll show you from the other side. There's the nailed wheel. Size and they can't go on the inside. I guess it's just like that. <coughs> so, sideways look. Sticks out a little bit, but that's nothing that I can live with that. So, yeah, we'll stick the back one on now. black one just because it's at the back. <laughs> so again, the holes lined up which way this is like go. Oh, things will have to go in that way. So we'll take the back note off. That's so This is harder than using the nuts and bolts. Put the washer on. And then the nails nut. And the nail nut's good, but I'll pull that down just so you can see what's happening. So the nail up pretty tight because you haven't got this fully extended. So about there might be the best place. When you're happy, oh, it's a bit tighter. That's quite finger tight. That 
He's now locked in the position. So you have one of the quick releases there, a quick release there, and then the ball there. And that's your panel on. Um, simple really. A bit of a pain, you have to be a bit patient. If that's how you use the flugel binders. And to take them off, I suppose I should do a take them off, shouldn't I? Clip. Undo the nail nut. It is quicker than a nut bolt, I suppose. Don't lose the washer. So I safe. Pull the quick release out. There's the washer. Look. Oh, don't lose the plastic washer and the flugel behind there. Either. And that got. There it is. So, plastic washer, metal washer, nut. Next one. Light so they can't really see what's happening. If you just undo the clip, uh, the angle might be here, so undo the clip. Let's loosen the nut and bolt. And so look, we see a bit better there. Okay, so we'll do the nail nut. In this case, doing the lever is actually a bit quicker. Doing those parts. Plastic washer looks on the other side. Yeah, I'll change that anyway, but for now, now I'll go back on. Oh, yeah, let's put that new back in there, that ball back in there while we undo the indicator, which is a simple push down with your thumb, lift out the ball tool, and we're off. So, yeah, the quicker. Um, pays your money, it takes your choice, really. They're not bad. Um, I think if I hadn't bought them, I wouldn't have bought them. But I bought them now, so I'm going to use them. Okay, so I just had uh, another message back off Steve, and he has confirmed that these are purely locating pins now, they're not fasteners, whereas this originally is a fastener, so it's a case of taking the lovely pink coloured screw, which I've just colour coded, out, like a so. which are quite long. And then screw these in. Which are a little bit fiddly because they don't appear to be the same thread. Good. Right, it's on the same thread pitch, so you can't use them, which is a bit of a shame. However, if he thinks they're just okay as locating pins, I suppose you could just use that as locating pin and you don't need to put a little bolt on there. 
Oh well, never mind. So, I'll put that back on. Yeah, the thread's okay, there's nothing with it. It's the wrong, wrong pitch. I don't know if you can actually tell or not, but if you look close, it looks like this is a fat, this one's a finer, finer thread. Yeah. It's a different pitch on the threads, so they're no good. So that's disappointing. Yeah, disappointing. Oh well. Back to plan B or C. Stick that back in. And maybe just use it as a locating pin. So just quickly to end the video on the um, Flugel Binders release kit, Steve from SF Stainless has been back in touch, um, can't, rec can't recommend him or his company enough really, he's been superb. <coughs> yeah, he's acknowledged that the later models have changed slightly like, from the earlier models and probably even the next model has changed again because the Chinese make. Um, so he's refunded me. That's ah, absolutely superb. Um, so yeah, thanks very much, Steve. Have you watched this video? I would uh, recommend the product to anybody, obviously, especially for the older models. This one, however, didn't require us, um, and it's just as easy to use the nuts and bolts that come on this one. However, I will use this idea of just using this front pin as just a locate pin now I won't bother trying to put a nut and bolt on it I'll see how it goes if there's no rattle or wearing the way of the paintwork I'll just leave it as a pin um, but I always have the option of putting that nut back on to tighten it down properly so overall it's been quite a good experience um, I hope you've enjoyed the video and if you have done please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to see the next video. But for now, save scoop and keep the faith. Thanks for watching.